Hey everybody, welcome back to Supercard. This is only going to be a short part of this video, and then uh, I'll record the rest in the morning, I guess, because I'm tired. Uh, my Season 1 King of the Ring finished. I lost Game 1. I threw that one so that I had enough energy to win the next two. Let's go Contenders Bracket. So yeah, I won that one for the WrestleMania King of the Ring. So we're going to get a random WrestleMania card and random Survivor card, both from Season 1. Mm, Naomi, great. Uh, but all of these are going to be used for fusion food. Um, it's just so I don't actually have to take from my cards. Uh, Team PCC is finally over. Uh, Team Elite, we ended up at rank 3, which is fantastic. We didn't think we'd get that high. It was 73,934. Before this, the highest we had scored was like 40,000. So got Michael coming in strong, uh, 11,500, Rob 10,500, Lesnar 7,700, Harry with 75,58, that's all free. Nick at 72,40, there's me at 69,12, I didn't think I was going to get that many points. Team leader with uh, 67, Vad with uh, 62, Juampi with 56, and Pucha just over 5,000. So that was insane for... Um, for my team that we were able to get this rank that's crazy so we get brand two brand new wrestlemania cards as well so we get john cena one of the best survivor cards in the game and the miz who would have made a pro for me if i didn't get him from my uh, king of the ring the other day uh for this king of the ring i'm 25 and oh i think there's like two other humans maybe i can go 51 and oh probably not and finally yeah see i've got three mizzes now and then finally, I got a WrestleMania pull during the event as well earlier today. Very happy with this one. Just go back a little bit further. I got myself a Bailey, and I put it in the in the team deck for Team PCC. So like all of her play levels are already done. I just gotta level her up now, level up that other Miz, and then I've got. I'm very happy that I got this Bailey. It's insane, and I haven't. I'm. About 5,000 games away from my Diva reward, but that's going to be it for right now. I will be back with the rest of it very shortly. Hey everybody, welcome back to Supercard. Um, well, this is the second part of the video now. <clears throat> and I've switched it up a little bit today. I got a bottle of water instead because uh, I don't think I can drink milk right now. I uh, went out to go see a friend last night. Uh, we were planning on going to the bar. But we didn't want to walk that far, so we just ended up getting, like, pizza, cheesy bread, a whole bunch of stuff like that. And then just brought it back to his place and uh, ate it. <laughs> and had a few beers there, so my mouth feels really dry, and it's like 1 o'clock. So, uh, ring domination is up. Uh, Seth Rollins is the card. Uh... So it's just going to be a ring domination Sami Zayn, essentially. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use this deck or not. It's pretty balanced with the arrows, but I'll see how it works. Um, I'm hoping the WrestleMania card is something I could pro. Uh, there, we don't know which one the Survivor card is yet. A lot of people are saying Roman Reigns, but someone is showing pretty good proof that it is actually uh, Bray Wyatt. So, either way, it's more fusion food for me, so that's all I really care about that. And, um, what else was it? And so, if it is Roman Reigns, people are thinking, you know, well, maybe they're, you know, for the WrestleMania, it'll be Dean Ambrose to kind of, uh, what do you call it, keep a shield theme going. So you got people saying, oh no, they wouldn't do Dean Ambrose because he was a team reward not that long ago. Um, but, you know, they did that for AJ Styles as well. Like, AJ was the first team Road to Glory event. And, you know, he was in the Shinsuke Nakamura Road to Glory. So, it's not unheard of to have a team card be end up ending up in the rewards. But if it is a Dean Ambrose, you know, that makes another pro for me. That'd be perfect. Uh, I'd like to get another John Cena now. Oh, wow, that's the ultra rare, Sean. That looks nice. 
Oh, of course the the face camera like froze when I was midway through that yawn, so um, now I'm gonna look stupid. But yeah, I've got like no energies left. Uh, whenever I go out with friends, I don't really like to play this game. So what I do is kind of make sure I have full energy before I go out, and then a few games later, a few hours later, I just reel up everyone's energy. If I gotta go to the bathroom, you know, I'll play a quick five games just to get up to 20 energy again. So that way I can use another 10 when I when I'm going to sleep, and then when I wake up, I've still got 10 left. Throw them all in there, and then I just gotta build up my 25 again. But seeing when you've got no energy and you're like, oh, man, 25 games, like like 25 energies is going to feel like forever at least you get energies for winning now and back in season one there were two energy cards on the board and that was it that was the only way to get energies so if you were unlucky like me whenever i used to do it so i'd use my five energies or whatever i need to get five more before i go back to sleep and i because you could refill while the game was going on in Season 1. So that you didn't have to wait until, you know, it shows up that they've got no um, stats left or whatever it is. Or the stats have gone down, their stamina has gone down. And there would be times where I'm playing all the way through until the next game had happened. And then I'd have to refill their energies. I'm like, oh crap, i got to get 5 again. Nothing felt better. And then getting the two energy cards early on when picking on the board because then you just knew, okay, I don't, I don't really need that much anymore. I'm just going to need to get, you know, I, this can be done in two more resets if I get two off the next reset and then I only need one. And just grinding for energies in Season 1 was such a pain. That's why I didn't bother to do it for that season one King of the Ring that I was just in. I just traded, uh, I just moved the cards around because I found it to be easier like that rather than playing season one as well, using those cards to train up, uh, you know, my season two ones because you don't really get much experience off them. You get half of what it would be, half of what you would get. So let's say a, um, like, you just feed a common card into any other card, and let's say you get 10 experience points for using that. If you use a Season 1 common card, you'd only get 5. You only get half. And I think that's what it is for the Fusion Chamber as well. Oh, man, I'm exhausted. I gotta go pick up my sister soon, and take her places and what have you. Maybe I'll go get a haircut today because it's just starting to get hippie length. I don't like that. <laughs> um, something I saw on Raw, when I, I watched part of the replay when I got home. And something that really annoyed me was, so if you watched Raw, Seamus looks like he's starting something with Apollo Crews. This whole new era thing is pissing him off or what have you. So, he attacked Apollo Crews backstage in the middle of an interview, you know, beat him up there, threw him into some of the stuff, and kind of, you know, the announcers were going over, how is this going to affect him for his match against Jericho? Well, I'll tell you what happened. It didn't affect him, because even while he was coming out, you know, Michael Cole was saying, like, oh, you know, he was assaulted backstage, I wonder how that feels, and Apollo Crews comes out you know, smiling and jumping and bouncing around all the way to the ring while they're trying to sell that he was assaulted backstage and he's not at 100%. And then he does, like, a damn front flip into the ring. Like, the guy's fine. Like, way to make, you know, it look like you're not even hurt. That, that it, you know, that segment was just a waste of time. You know, don't beat him up backstage because he's going to be fine when he comes out of the ring. And that, that really annoyed me that what's... What's the point in even doing that if you're not going to have him sell it? It's not like that was pre-taped two weeks ago. They had done it that night. So it, that was it was just so frustrating. But anyways, that's going to be it for today. Let me know how your team got along in Team PCC. Thank you all for watching. Please take care.